Okay, so I'm gonna create a little video here that talks a little bit about a couple of the pens that we're starting our unit on pen and ink. Uh, pen and ink is really a fun mid medium to work with, um, but it can be frustrating because it's very unforgiving. So it's helpful to know a little bit about some of the materials and tools that you can be working with. There are lots of different pens you can, you can buy, you can use. Um, the, uh, the good old standard is the Sharpie pens here. Um, you can use these ultra fine Sharpies, make a great mark here. You can get uh, different sizes, of course. You can get, uh, this is the, the fine point Sharpie, which gives you, of course, a thicker line. Um, you can use gel pens, and I, gel pens make a nice line, but I find them unreliable, and so I get kind of frustrated with these. Um, not so great. Um, this type of pen is, is an excellent type. It is called Art, Art Line. Um, the micro pens are also excellent, uh, very reliable. They tend to be a little bit more expensive than the Sharpies, but uh, last a lot longer. And you can get uh, the kinds with different uh, weights to the line. This is a 0.3. This one is a, is a 0.7. Okay, so it can give you some variety there. Uh, but I also find it's really fun to use these old fashioned pens. These are called crow quill pens. So in your box of stuff that I've given you, you have one of these, it's called a nib holder, and the attachments are called nibs. You have two different kinds in your bag of stuff. You have one that is the, uh, the drawing nib, and then you have another one that is, and let me pull the one out for you, is this one right there, okay? You can see they're, they're really different. Um, this is the one for scratch boards. So this one we're not going to use at first, um, but we'll use this when we do our scratch board assignment. This one is for, of course, drawing with your, your ink. So you're going to need, you stick it in there, it fits inside this little groove here. Um, and you've got lots of different attachments here. I've got, uh, you can, uh, each one will make a different type of line, but there's lots of different types of nibs that make different types of lines and different uh, ways of drawing and writing. Uh, using calligraphy is, is typically what they're used for. Um, but you'll need a bottle of ink. And the ink, you want to be super careful uh, because if you get any of it on your clothes, it will not come out of your clothes. I've ruined many shirts and pants by spilling it on there, so you want to make sure you're really, really careful. Always keep your ink bottle directly in front of you, never off to the side. That's when accidents almost always happen. So you're drawing, you're drawing, you drawing, you forget it's there, you move too quick and you knock it over. And the sad thing is it usually doesn't spill on you, it spills on somebody else or all over somebody else's stuff. Um, so you gotta be super careful when you're working with this. Always keep, and remember there's ink on this too. So if this rolls off your desk, it's going to get uh, on the floor, on your clothes. So you got to be careful of this, this little ink dropper. We'll need the ink dropper when we do ink wash, uh, our ink wash assignment. Um, so you want to make sure that this doesn't roll anywhere. So keep it kind of off to the side, but make sure you don't uh, knock it over. Uh, basically what you do is you take your nib and you dip it into the bottle of ink. And you want to dip it in about to where this little opening is. If you look really closely at it, you can see that there's this little, it looks kind of like a keyhole or an exclamation point, okay? Um, that's about how far I dip the ink into when I dip it in there. If you dip it in too much, then as you tilt it up, the ink will all push to the very end and drip, okay? So I like to kind of tap a little bit off to the side here, make sure I don't get any big uh, drop on the tip because it, it will um, drip onto your drawing and nothing's worse than 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 uh, in the middle of your drawing, having a big blob of ink right where you don't want it. Uh, but these are really nice to draw with because you have a, a, a great deal of control with these these here. But they do get, the, they can be a little testy and they can be somewhat challenging at first to get used to. So if you have not tried these before, then you'll definitely want to practice first, okay? So you can see this one's giving me a little bit of problem here first, and so I may need to go back and kind of bend the tip down. Maybe it looks like sitting in my drawer got bent a little bit. So if you're having this problem, which is actually great because now you can kind of see that even uh, somebody who's done this a while can have some problems getting it to work right.
okay? So if yours just doesn't work, you can't get it to work, then, then you come see your teacher and we'll, uh, we'll, I'll uh, get something figured out for you, okay? But the idea is, and this one looks like it's just not going to work very good, so I'm going to get a different one, switch this one out. See if I can get one to work better. Okay, let's try this one. There you go. So as you dip it in the ink, then you can draw with it. And you can see with a really light touch, you can get this super fine, beautiful little line. But if I put a little bit of pressure on it, you'll notice that the end, the very tip is actually separated. And so it'll spread open and make a thicker line with a little bit of pressure. So if I put some pressure down, you can see I can get a thicker line, okay? Of course, it's gonna use more ink, so when it runs out of ink, you just pick up a little bit more and you just keep drawing. So I can put some pressure and get a thicker line, okay? Or in the same stroke, I can adjust my pressure and go from this really thin, delicate line to a thicker line. Let's try this again. So I'm going to go thick, thin, thick. So I can kind of vary and play with uh, the, the line weight with just the stroke of my pen. Get really thick. So you make these really kind of cool in and out uh, lines with it, okay? And when you're done, you just clean it out. You usually just run it under some water. Don't let it sit in the water. These tips will rust. And then just wipe off the extra ink. And you're good to go, okay? Just keep this end part here really clean. Um, you can see I got some ink on my finger already, so that will probably stain my finger a little bit. I'll have to wash my hands real good to try to get it out, so... Uh, just be careful with that. So anyway, that's what we're going to do is your, um, and that's how these crow quill pins work.